Hi, so what I've created here is a custom door sweep by combining a couple of different materials from Home Depot. And I'm, I've been trying to solve a couple of different problems. So your typical door sweep, the problem with the standard ones that you buy is that it actually doesn't fill in completely the different length and varying gaps along the bottom of the door. So typically with your gap at the bottom of the door, it varies in width, you know, it it might start off like this and then it varies in the middle and then it might go back down. So uh, I needed something that actually will expand and contract along the entire length of the gap so that it fills in and is snug to the door like this. So you could see along the way what I've created snugs the door no matter how uh, different the gap varies. So that was one of the primary problems I was trying to solve by creating this custom door sweep. And the other problem I was trying to solve is when you buy your these typical vinyl rubber door sweeps is they break and they get brittle really fast because they're just rubber. So I replaced this rubber gasket with um, you know a $5 insulation. So this insulation usually is put on the side of the doors. So this is what this is, and they sell this at Home Depot for $5 for a seven and a half foot strip. So I will have links to these parts in the description area of the video, um, and you could see all of the material that I got for this. So what I did was I replaced this rubber gasket at the bottom with this particular thing. So if you could imagine how this fills in all the different varying widths at the bottom, but at the same time, you know, once this wears out, you could easily buy a new one for $5, um, you know, unscrew that one and then just replace this. So this also lasts a lot longer. With this rubber stuff, it cracks and it gets brittle so fast, you know, in a matter of like six months. So the problem with these rubber gaskets is that it's also a e very even along the side when it's manufactured. So that won't vary and fill in the gaps and expand. Uh, so you'll, ha you'll still have that air draft. And when you have that air draft, it will also have gaps, you know, whether it's a millimeter or two millimeters that will actually allow bugs to come in. So, um, you know, overall, just by combining these two things, this, uh, you know, side door insulation with this typical Frost King aluminum vinyl door sweep, I was able to create this basically a perfectly filled in gap right there, door sweep at the bottom. And so what I did was I basically t took your door sweep here and I will rip off the vinyl. So once I rip off the vinyl, you, you could see here Right there, there's that slot. So that slot, I am going to take, you know, that seven and a half foot insulation here. And you can see, you know, how, how good this insulation is too. So this insulation will also, you know, keep basically your heat in, you know, better than that rubber gasket, than that thin rubber gasket. So I will just stick this white part or this top part right into the slot and now you know as as the door moves it will actually just fill in the fill in the gaps so you can see here all I'm doing I'm using these pliers and I am simply pulling out the rubber gap and so once I have the rubber gap pulled out or the rubber vinyl pulled out here you could see that there is that big gap just putting in the screwdriver and twisting it ever so slightly and just going you know along the entire edge and widening the gap a little bit right there and I have this particular thing and all I'm doing is just stuffing it in there so you can see now when I stuff it in there you know it just closes like that and you know, it becomes basically flexible and it hugs right to the floor. 
So you can, you can imagine just doing this with the entire seven and a half foot and then just cutting it to length afterwards. So, you know, just like what I have here, you, you will actually get that perfect fit at the very end. Now, the, the other thing that's great about this is it actually goes underneath the door. So this thing, this rubber vinyl piece only goes like in front of the door, right? So, so you have this thin thing that really just covers the front lip and edge of the door. You know, whereas this, this thing here, you know, you, you could see it from this angle. It actually covers underneath the gap of the door. So if you could see, if I swing the door open and, you know, let, let me show you this a little bit better here. You, you could see no matter what, that actually does hug the bottom of the door. You know, so, so the gaps actually vary in two different ways. It varies lengthwise like this, but also along the floor. You know, when you open the door, it actually varies. So you do want something that's constantly expanding to fill that gap. You know, not just at rest, but when you're moving the, oh, the door open. So another big tip I have is that this will come with screws. Now you have to be careful of these screws. These screws will snap on you. So you can imagine if you torque it too much, when these screws snaps, then it becomes pretty useless. So either buy real screws from Home Depot or make sure you don't torque it too much. And if you have to torque it too much, then re-drill a little better, bigger pilot hole for these screws. So these screws are so, tre uh, so cheap, they're actually kind of criminal. You know, they will give you uh, the biggest part of the frustration when you actually snap these screws. And these screws will snap, that's how cheap they are. So just be very careful of that. All right, so I am going to put these uh, parts in the description area of the video and you could see, uh, you know, what I bought from Home Depot. So, uh, you know, I hope this tip helped. And it really, this really has served me well. I've, I've been using this for basically two years now and it has not worn, this, this has not worn out and it has not been brittle at all. And I am really happy with my solution. So uh, that's really it. I hope this helps and uh, please subscribe and uh, like this video and thank you so much for watching.